Hello everyone, welcome to Wi-Fi Learn. In this video, we can see about relative and absolute voltages. Before going to the topic, in last video, I have given a homework problem, right? Given a problem to find the solution. Okay, let's see the problem and also let's see the solution. This is a problem. Find the current flowing through the 2 ohms resistor. That is in this branch. To find the current flowing through this branch, first we have to reduce the circuit and we have to find the equivalent resistance and the total current flowing through the circuit. After that, by going through a reverse procedure and by using current division rule also, we can find the current flowing through the circuit. See, this 2 ohms and 3 ohms are in series. So, adding together, we will get a 5 ohms here. So, R1 could be found as 2 plus 3 are in series will get us 5 ohms this 5 ohms now 5 ohms and 5 ohms are in parallel if we do a parallel connection and if identical resistors are connected in parallel then r equivalent can be found assume it as r2 r divided by n r equivalent is found by r divided by n where r is a resistance value 5 number of connections is 2 so it gives 2.5 ohms so this 2.5 ohms and 1. 1.5 ohms are connected in series adding together will get a 4 ohms then 4 ohms and 6 ohms will be in the parallel connection and the parallel connection gives and this parallel connection gives the value of 2.4 which we have already done and this 1.6 and 2.4 will be in series will get again r is equal to 4 ohms so r total resistance is equal to 4 ohms now to find the total current we as we all know it is very simple by using ohms law v divided by r v supplied is 24 r is equal to 4 ohms so i total current will be of 6 ampere 6 ampere so 6 ampere current will be flowing here and the 6 ampere current flowing here it will be divided into 2 now apply a current division rule assume this as a i1 and this as a i2 we have to find the current flowing through this 4 ohms resistor. I2 is equal to total current into opposite resistance divided by total resistance 10 which will get a value of 3.6. So, the value of I2 is 3.6. Now, go to the reverse procedure. This 3.6 current will be flowing here, right? Adding this only we will get a 4, 4 ohms, 3.6 ampere current. So, this 3.6 ampere current will be flowing here. It is divided into 2 right this 5 ohm is formed by using adding of 2 and 3 assume this is ix current so ix current will be flowing here now apply again current division rule so ix is equal to total current 3.6 into opposite resistance 5 divided by total resistance 10 we will get a value of ix is equal to 1.8 very simple problem it's a very simple problem now let's move on to the topic of relative and absolute voltages in an electrical circuit Electrical voltage at any point can be quoted with respect to or with reference to any other point in a circuit. So, consider in this circuit, I have mentioned a point as A, B, C and it is a grounded and it is given by a supply of 200 volt. It is a positive terminal and negative terminal. Now, in this circuit, the total resistance value is and all the resistance are connected in series so sum all the resistance so 30 plus 50 80 80 plus 15 95 90 plus 95 plus 5 is of 100 ohms so r total is equal to 100 ohm the current flowing through the circuit would be of voltage divided by resistance 200 divided by 100 resistance will get as 2 ampere so, 2 ampere current will be flowing through the circuit. If the voltage at a point A is quoted, if voltage at a point A is quoted with reference to the point B, then the voltage can be written as VAB. Okay. Now, the voltage is referred at a point A with reference to WRT is with reference to B, VAB. This voltage can be found by this VAB can be found by current flowing through this resistance with respect to the resistance value. So, 2 into 50 will get as a 100 volt. This voltage at a point A with respect to or with reference to B is termed as a relative voltage. 
relative voltage. In the circuit shown in the figure, voltage at a point A with reference to B is 100 volt and it is written as a VAB is equal to 100 volt equal to 100 volt. It must be indicated whether the voltage at A with B is closer to positive terminal of the battery or negative terminal of the battery or a positive terminal of the supply source or negative terminal of the supply source. Point A is nearer to the positive terminal of the battery where compared to the B, so B is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. So, VAB is positive, positive 100 volts or VAB is positive voltage. If no positive or negative is included, then the voltage is always taken as a positive value. Okay? If you are taking a relative voltage where the positive or negative is not included, then the voltage is always taken as a positive. Now, if you find the voltage at B or with reference to A, right? VAB is negative. Since B is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and you will get VBA as minus 100, 100 voltage. If the voltage V is found v with respect to A, then VBA is minus 100 volt. If reference point is changed to the earth point, okay, if reference point is changed to the earth point, then any voltage taken with respect to earth is known as the absolute potential. Okay, while taking reference point as earth, then any voltage is termed as a absolute voltage, is termed as a absolute voltage. If absolute voltage of A in this figure is required, then this will be the sum of the voltage that occur in 50 ohms and 5 ohms. So, VA absolute voltage can be given by the voltage across 50 is 100 and the voltage across 5 is 10. So, the VA is equal to 110 volt. Again, it is positive. Why? Because it, this A point is connected closer to the positive terminal of the battery with respect to the earth. So, since moving the point from earth point to the A point, it is moved through the positive terminal first. So, this A is positive. If voltage is negative with respect to earth, then it must be indicated as negative. For example, if you find the absolute voltage across the C, it is connected to the negative terminal with respect to the earthing point. So, VC absolute voltage can be found by current flowing through the circuit 2 into 15. It is connected to the negative terminal. So, VC absolute value is equal to minus 30 volt. It is an absolute voltage value and the relative voltage is found between the two terminals which we are representing. These are the relative and absolute voltages to be found in the circuit. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to Wi-Fi. Thank you.